I've been doing some terraform videos uh, to deploy data bricks resources. This one I'm gonna demonstrate how to create a, a brand new resource group in a data bricks workspace. So there's an example here from the uh, data bricks provider. And, but I'm, I'm, I've done a simplified version, so let's create a folder here. Um, I'm just going to navigate to my blog in the uh, Python folder. And I'm just going to create a, a new directory called uh, Terraform. Uh, Azure Databricks uh, workspace. Oh, and then I'm just going to open this code. Good. So I'm going to create just one Terraform file. I'll just call it name. And I'm just going to write all the variables, everything here. So. I'm going to switch off my AI here. Because I wanted to make use of the Terraform extension. So let's get started with the code. So first let's start Terraform configuration file. So Terraform. And then I'm just going to pull the required providers. So one is going to be uh, Azure uh, Resource Management. And I'm just going to be equals. And then I have to pass the source. And the value is going to be, it's maintained by HashiCorp. Um, it's missing an eye here. And, and then it's, Azure RM and then the version it is 3.1.0 and that's it. I don't need the um, Databricks provider for this one because all the resources in Azure so the provider is this one and the features is just an empty object and then I have to create a resource group uh, the resource is going to be a Azure RM and then resource group and the name I'm just going to call it this and the name is going to be uh, DBX Terraform and the location I'm just gonna do in Australia. All those Australia, all those Australia's. So that's enough for the resource group. Now the workspace. So resource. And then it, this is going to be Azure um, RM. Oops. And then it's going to be Data Bricks Work Work is Space. Uh, should be this one. Yep. And the name can be also doesn't matter, but I'll give it this. And uh, the name needs to be a unique name, so I'm just gonna give um, data inch forty two g j i o. And the, I need to put a location, and the location is going to be the same location of the resource group. Uh, and then it's location. And I also need to get the SKU 
uh, I'm just gonna get a premium and another required one is the uh, managed resource group name which is going to be dbx terraform uh, managed resource group what I'm doing incorrectly here, am I missing anything? Name. And I also need to put a resource group name. That why that was why it was complaining. And then that's gonna be name. Okay, I think that's enough. Now uh, I'm just gonna put the output to get the uh, Databricks host and that's going to be the, the value is going to be uh, HTTPS semicolon then I'm going to put an interpolation here with a dollar curly brace and then I'm just going to use Azure RM uh, data Bricks works case and this and work space URL. So I think I've got all done. So it looks like there is nothing. I'll put a validate first. Uh, before I I do that so DBX Terraforma Australia East Azure Databricks Workspace that's the name should be unique that one uh, Azure Research Group this one name and then the location is location it's gonna be Australia East SQ Premium DBX Terraform and yeah MRG for the it's not a requirement but I'm just gonna put that otherwise it's gonna generate an, a random number and then the output All right so I'm not going to go through this but a prerequisite here is that you need to have Terraform CLI installed as well as Azure CLI and then you need to have your uh, service principle that you're going on your configuration. If you wanted to know more about this watch the previous videos I'm just gonna put uh, here a card where you can see uh, uh, me doing the first setup for Terraform configuration. So now I'm just going to do the classic Terraform uh, init to initialize the project. Looks good. And then I do uh, Terraform validate which I think it's going to be alright because this, uh, the extension is not complaining about anything. And then I can do a Terraform plan to see what's going to be deployed. Uh, no changes. I think I hadn't saved. Okay. So I think I hadn't saved the file. Uh, let's stop when. Yeah, I didn't save the file, that's why uh, it didn't say anything. So let's do a Terraform apply. Terraform apply, and then that's gonna apply. And then I'll say yes. And that's gonna be start the deployment. And I'm just gonna fast forward the video so you can watch this in a few seconds instead of minutes. Uh, now it's deployed, let's check. So I've got my Terraform, DBXR form and then DBXR form MRG with all the resources. Let's get inside the um, data inch. 
So the workspace has been deployed. Uh, because I'm admin on this account, I can log in. And it's here, a brand new uh, workspace. Good. And I'm here, my workspace, my user, uh, compute, and everything. Uh, we do a Terraform Stripe because I'm not going to use those resources now. I don't want to pay for those. So I just do a destroy. And then you can pass always the auto approve. And then that's going to go. All right, uh, that's destroyed. Let's just check there. So if I do a um, refresh here, so my Dotbricks workspace is like gone. So I think that's it for today. So if you have any questions, put in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, like the video and click the bell. Thanks for watching and see you next time.